Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today we are going to do the Hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And this is week 36 and this is Hinged Tags. And Rachel said this was inspired by Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures. So this is our prototype. So this is a hinged tag. So that's one side, and then that's the other side. So if you take your journal, I just pulled this off my shelf really quickly. And then this would actually be glued there, and then it folds in. So then you fold it out, and that's what you see there. Then when you turn the page, you will see the fabric on the other side. So that is what we will be making today and i believe if i'm not mistaken um rachel actually used like double-sided scrapbook paper well i need to use up this single-sided so i have already cut down some book page and that's what you'll see here so where the book page is is actually the back of a piece of scrapbook paper and then this border around here is the other side of the scrapbook paper. So I just took, these are um, tags from Amnity Bloom. And I just glued a tag on that side. Glued down, <coughs> excuse me, the book page. And then put a tag there. And then put our little hinge. So I do have some little strips of fabric here. I guess we could put it over there out of the way. So we have a little bit more room. So there is our prototype probably going to need our scissors. I've got my Fabri-Tac and then my glue stick. So I think we'll go ahead and just get started by picking out um, a couple of tags. So one for the front, one for the back. And one's like this, like, oh, I just threw it in the floor, did I? Oh, one of those days, I guess. Um, you can decorate this up further and put a flower here or a um, label or something like that. I mean, you could decorate it any way you want to. I just didn't decorate the prototype. And these are so pretty. They don't need much of anything anyway. So let's see which one of these do I want to use. I think I'll actually use this one. So since the other side is just book page, anything is going to go with it. So there's our piece of book page. Jeez, just a hot mess. And this is just printed on, I think I actually printed this on that um, sugar paper. It's kind of, um, uh, I don't know, off-white, tannish looking colored paper. And it is pretty thin. But let's see, I want to find something that is actually, I'm more worried about one, I think this one right here more worried about one that's going to look good on this side as opposed to the other side because it's just going to be on the book page and I think I'm just well I don't know that blends that's blendy blendy isn't it up against that um let's see I think that would work for the other side of course we could distress it too that should bring it out some so let's try that so the first thing we're going to do is um, just do a little bit of distressing around the tag. Yeah, I think it'll show up a little bit more doing that distressing. So the color of this is just so similar to the color of the book page. And then I will just kind of figure out about where I want that. And then we'll just glue that down. Hope you're all doing well today. Doing pretty good. It is record temperatures. Would you believe it? I think they said. I don't remember if they said it was like 10 degrees higher than the normal high for this time. Or 20. But it got up to like 90 today. And it's supposed to get up to 90 again tomorrow. And I'm like. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> way too hot for this time in September okay so we got that on there so now all I'm going to do is flip this over because now we want to glue our 
book page to the back of this paper so that I can use that, that kind of, I guess it's book pages thicker than I thought. Felt like two pieces. And then we'll just glue this. It's like it's about time for a new glue stick. And then I'm just going to glue this on here. Try to get it all the way to the corner so there's less cutting. And I will grab my little, or big glue spreader and just spread that out. There we go, got that. Definitely be putting something on this side of this. We may look at her. Um, I've got some of her fussy cut flowers over here. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Okay. So, we'll just get our cutter out. And go ahead and cut this. About right there. Yeah, that is definitely crookified. Probably cut the paper crooked. The scrapbooking paper. And it's wet, so I just messed it up. But if that happens, it's nothing a little bit of distress. Can't take care of for sure. Alright. Now we will, I think we'll do it up here since I totally messed up that edge right there. Okay, so there's our tag. So let's go ahead and see, we can fix that with just a little bit of distress. No worries at all. Would have been better to let it dry, but... And then I'm just going to take this and kind of gauge about where I want to do that at. And it's not going to be exactly even because I don't do anything straight or even. But it shall be close enough. Alright, so there's that tag. Now we need to take our other tag and glue it to the other side. So, let's get that ready. Which tag did we have picked out? This one. Yeah. And then we will just kind of center that one there. And then we can pick out our fabric that we want on it. That's the only thing about this paper, guys. It rolls and curls whenever it is wet. Maybe right there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and give that some distress all the way around it. What do we do with it here? That's a cute tag. And you can put a topper on it. I don't think she put <clears throat> toppers on any of hers. Um, but you could. Even though it's just going to flip out on your page. Okay. So, I think I want... It's going to cover that up anyway. I think I want our fabric on this side. See, we have this. I think that would work. See, about there, maybe. I think so.
Didn't want to get just uh, Zabratech here. I think that will do. And then just leave enough hanging over. Yeah, that's plenty. Pull that down a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. So then, we just glue that to your page. And it's going to flip out. Let me glue it to our page. Isn't that cute? Oh yeah, I like that one. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty. Okay, so let's do one more. And then we'll definitely find something to decorate that with. Um, we could do something more neutral, I guess. I've got oozy glues over here. It's about to run out, so it's not very happy right now. To grab another bottle is what I need to do. I try to lay it on its side when it's about out. That way it can, you know, not have to come all the way down. Takes so long. I need to clean my mat to give it a good old scrubbing. All right. So. Here we go. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. So maybe now the next one we'll do the tab on the other side. So I wanted to use, I think, this here to figure out which way it does. It does have very light, faint words on it. So I could use this. On this one, maybe that here. Maybe we'll give that a little bit of distress as well, but not a lot. Not too much on there. And then the ones with flowers, maybe we could just find a simple label to go on there and then that other one maybe we can find like a small enough butterfly or something to go on here okay oh I should have put the other side on first shouldn't I've oh well if it ends up being dinglingy, it just ends up being dinglingy, right? Let's see. We could kind of judge it this way, maybe. Because I think these tags should be about the same. Let's judge it this way. about right there so about the word all okay what am I reaching for just a little bit distress on there but you know it doesn't have to be exact anyway Let's see. Where did we say the word all? About right and there. Yep, I think that's going to do it there.
And I did it on my wrong side because this side's going to be over here. Uh, a little bit, okay. Now we'll get this bit down. So this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, good way to use your single-sided paper. Um, just by using this book page behind it and letting the book page be, you know, like a border for your tag, around your tag. There we go. All right, so turning around on this side. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Oh, I think we'll cut it on this side. Just even with that paper there. Around about. Around about even. Let's see. Let's go. Right there. Ha! Pretty close. Awesome. some little scraps over here too. Okay, so yeah, see how there's more on that side than that side. But too, you know, it's gonna be on two different sides of the page once it flips out. So I don't think you're really gonna notice that. Plus we'll have oh we're gonna put that on this side. Right? This time our fabric yeah, so I think that's going to be just fine. Now let's see about where we want this. About there. Flip it around on this corner. Try to get her somewhere the same. There we go. Now let's go ahead and ink around it a little bit. So Gracie May and the babies are still doing good. They have moved from under my SUV to the front porch, which I'm happy about. It's very uncomfortable with them staying under my SUV. Okay, so which side? I think right here on this side we will have our and then I think this is gonna be the last one we're gonna make guys and a little bit of this up okay so let's see what oh, throwing stuff in the floor oh just a second guys Like I told you, it's one of those days. Just clumsy, clumsy, clumsy today. Oh, look. Here's this. Oh, it's not long enough. Shucks. Oh, look. This one will do. Let's try this way. We could do it without it going all the way, I believe, to the bottom. Doesn't have to go the whole span, I don't think. Love this green polka dot, too. Okay, some fraying going on. Which I don't mind. I actually love the fray. Okay. Alright. here and then about there yes oh that's so cute yep I love the polka dot 
Awesome. So there is that. Okay. So we are done with those. So let's just see if we can find a little something to dress it up with. That's the fun part. Just dressing them up. Okay. Let's get rid of that. We need those. We may need these. Put those there. Okay. So, this one here, that's pretty over the year. Could always do a word, too, for a number. Let's see what we have in here. We have some <clears throat> smaller things. That would really stand out, I think. Let's see. Or what about a wee bit bigger one? That's a pretty blue, but that says meat. Like M E A T. Okay. Let's cut this down. Just a little bit here. That light off. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's grab the art glitter glue. And then, too, like I said, you could punch a hole in there and put something up there if you wanted something sticking up. Do, like, some sorry silk or crinkled seam binding. Anything like that. So, I think that's good on that side because those flowers are already so pretty. Now, on this side... We are, see, I don't know that I have a flower in here small enough. These are kind of bigger. Well, as soon as I said that, there you go. No, that one's kind of blendy, blendy. It's a bit too tall. Hey, hey, look at that. Oh, I kind of like this one. Okay. So, we're just going to very quickly cut this out like a bunny. As Gail would say, quick like a bunny. Just do a kiss cut, which means you just leave a very little bit of border on the ear. See, that goes that way, and then goes round. Yep. Okay. Then maybe we'll give it a little bit of distress too, but not a whole, whole lot. Just a tad. Okay. So we got that. And I don't think <clears throat> any of that actually made it into the trash can. So. And I think these are just printed on regular copy paper, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll do that there. What do we need? Get this glue back out. Oops.
Oh yeah, that's cute. Glob of glue. Glob of glue. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like that on there. And I don't think I want a label or anything on that side. So we're going to call that one done. And then this. Okay. So this we need a flower. But let's dive. Or maybe we want a butterfly. Look, they're jumping out. Everything's jumping out. Now those. So we're from the Dollar Tria. Maybe we want... Butterfly, though. That's a pretty butterfly. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Maybe we'll do it up there and then just see if we can find a label. This is my book I need to do some repair to and haven't done it yet. I'll trade that one out for the labels. So let's see. What do we have in here? Um, label wise. I want to make me some more ephemera holders too. Well, no, let's be honest. I don't want to make them. I want to buy them. What am I talking about here? I hope that's too much. Too much, too much, too much. Way, way too much. Here's Rachel's. Let's see. Oh, well, that'll be cute. Yeah. I think we're going to do that one. A little bit of distressing around it. And then I think we'll go ahead and do the butterfly. Get her on there. I think I put it up a little bit too high, but that's okay. That's cute. So there we go. So that one would go on the page like that. And then you would flip it open and see that on the other side. Super cute. Okay. We want to label over here. I think we want something smaller out of here. Let's see what we have. Tina numbers. <clears throat> see. Hmm. So we have more green than anything. Maybe too much green. Let's see. Let's do this. To cut those angles there. Didn't see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I like it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that on that side. Me or you? There we go. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yeah, that's crooked. That's okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about these, but I'm actually enjoying these. Okay, so now we have this one. And that side, I think I'm going to leave it B. And maybe on this side. See, I do have some birds. 
They may be too big though. Let's see. this one. I think I like this one better. Okay, we'll go with that one. And these are Rachel's Fussy Cut Birds. Okay. Again, we will try to whiz around this fairly quickly if we can. Go. Where she stops, nobody knows. That is a pretty bird. Okay. Careful around the beaky. Don't want to lose any beaks today. Yeah, not much of a kiss cut there, but hey. Oh, but y'all right. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this white out in here. It's too much white. If we can get this to where we have him all on there. There we go. Cute. Oh, yeah, I like that. One thing we did not do was to stress around this one. Which, you know, you don't have to. <clears throat> some people love it, some people don't. Me, I think it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But, for the most part, I do distress. Alright guys, I think that is it. Let's get some of this stuff out of our way so that we can see what we've gotten done here. Glue all over my hands and distress ink. So let's try to get some of that off. Okay. Yeah, this bad boy hadn't been washed in a while. Okay. Neat. Here we go. So, this is our week 36 hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And this is hinged tags. So, it will actually be glued to your page like that. And you would just open her up. Cute. Oh, I like them. 
And again, the tags, I did use Amnity Bloom tags, uh, mainly just because that's what was out. I actually had some out. Oh, that one's so pretty. So we have that one that'll hinge on the opposite side. And then we have this one. Let me make sure you guys can see them okay. So that's what it's going to look like. And then we have this one. That's what that will look like on a page. And then we have this one. Of course, this beak won't be covered up. You know. It'll be on the thing. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you don't mind, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like, and comment. Even if it's just a quick emoji, that does help my channel um, and keeps me in good standing with YouTube. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate all of your support. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.